was the night before Christmas when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The children were nestled all snug in their bed while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out from the lawn arose with such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, to tore open the shutters and threw out the sash. On the moon on the breast of the new fallen snow, gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wandering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and a tiny reindeer, with a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in an instant it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they flew, and he whistled and he shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer, now Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner, on Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves before the hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, to the coursers they flew, with a sleigh full of toys, in St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof, the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a pound. He was dressed in old fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His nose, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His draw little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as snow. The stump of a pipe held tight in his mouth, and the smoke, it had circled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly off, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned like a joke. Then laying his finger aside of his nose, he gave a nod of the chimney he rose. He sprung like he sprung to his sleigh and his team get a gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the dawn of a thistle. But I heard him, heard him exclaim as he went out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night.